Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be doing a little story time. We're going to talk about cops, police. How do you feel about them? I'm going to tell you how I feel. My experiences will make this quick. It's not too long of a video here. While we do take a look at uh, arguably the cheapest move in the game. They debuff charm but I mean it's so ridiculously strong. <laughs> okay let's be real. Something needs to be done a little bit more than what they did but hey I'll take it. You're going to use Shadow Gramble, so essentially it's back to what it used to be because of that Shadow Boost damage. But if you do enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Really do appreciate all the support that you all gave me for my last video. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Now let's talk about this. Now I'm not going to get... Look, this is uh, something here. So if I have any watchers who are police or have family, I, look, let me start it off by saying this is not a bash thing, okay? This is not, definitely not. Personally, for my experiences with cops, have been all great. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about this because one pulled the, I wouldn't call it dirty, but he was lying and it was just very shady. So I got pulled over the other night. Everybody's car is dirty right now. Not only that, but your car is either really dirty here in Anchorage or it's covered with snow everywhere. Uh, so I've seen the, like several people that night with their license plate completely covered. Nothing, you can't even see it. So anyways, I'm driving and I see a cop, you know how it goes, you're like, okay, here we go. Okay, but he was ahead of me. He turned and made it look like he was gonna turn into somewhere. And I was like, oh, there you go, sweet. Go with the speed limit, always drive normal, right? And I see him again behind me, I'm like, is that a cop with a headlight out? It's like, I got a headlight out, so we're good, we're good. I'm like, hey, you got one out too, so hey, hey what are you gonna, come on. Can't be like a hypocrite right there, but anyway. Uh, so he's following me. I'm like, okay, whatever. What's going on? I switch lanes. He switched lanes. I'm like, okay, you know, nope, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So eventually, we turn on the lights, and this is the first time I literally have been pulled over like that um, in years. I've never really wanted to talk about it because it's karma. We're well, not karma, but you know, talk it into happening, into reality. So I just kept my mouth shut, knock on wood, kind of a thing. So he pulls up, you know, he's like, hey, how you doing? I was like, I pulled you over because you got to give the excuse because what, what am I here for? What did you pull me over? Uh, your license plate's dirty. Like, uh, I couldn't see it. And I'm thinking, okay, whatever. <laughs> I tell him, I'm like, it's kind of break up and then snow and everybody's license plate is dirty right now. Uh, and he looks around and it's, it's like midnight and he's looking around uh, like he's going to find a bunch of examples. I'm like, give me a break. Don't be stupid right now. Okay. Obviously didn't say that. I was just, uh, I know what to do when I'm encountering a cop, especially, and I want to bring it up. But if you're a brother, you got to be a little different. Don't, I'm not going to bring it all into here about that. But if you think that that is a myth, then you just don't know. Okay. Anyway, so he goes on, you know, it's polite. He wasn't rude or nothing. A uh, little condescending. Um, so I had a friend with me grinding Pokemon Go and I was like, yeah, I knew it. I was like, yep, I knew it too. I knew it was going to happen back there when he pulled back behind you. So he, I give him my license. He goes and runs it. I couldn't find my insurance card because I haven't actually got them yet uh, shipped out for the new year. Uh, so I had to get on my phone. Eventually he got all the information and then he goes and runs the stuff. He comes back and everything's all good. And he's like, just make sure you clean that. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to like you know, dig in anymore. I'm like, okay. So we take off, I go home and look at it and it is perfectly clear. Nothing. It, it is clear as day. Is Honestly, it's probably because of the water splashing on it from when it was breaking up and then it froze again that it made it clear. So I was looking, we both looked at it and we looked at each other like, and we got, there was this moment when we we're thinking, no, that was just a straight up excuse to pull you over. I was like, yeah, it was. And I'm not over here again. I'm not over here trying to be like, oh, you know, uh, cops are bad. Defund them. I'm not. That's not me. Okay. What are you going to do when you need help? Okay. Let's be honest. I'll send a social worker. Come me a freaking break. Okay. So all my other experiences usually are great for the most part. I mean, there was another incident when I was a teenager where I was walking on the sidewalk and the cop pulled up in front of me and behind me, pulled their guns on me. And they're just, it was crazy, right? They're like, get on the ground. I was skateboarding. It was raining. I was trying to get to the bus stop. It was Sunday. It was the last bus. And I was like, what the heck? So I get on the ground. I was wearing my new shirt too. It was raining. It got all dirty. And they handcuffed me. I'm like, what's, like, what's going on? And they said, we got the description of somebody that said they won't take me alive. And I was like, okay. So they drove me up the street 
uh, to see if I was the person to identify from the other people for the other people. And then uh, they're like, okay, no, no, that's not him. They're like, okay, leave. I'm like, what do you mean just leave? My house is like seven miles away and the last bus is gone. It's raining. My mom was pissed. Um, they were almost going to push charges, but yeah, they let it go because my mom is not, my family's not like that. So other than that, I mean, <laughs> it, it's all been people trying to call the cops on me because they did something so stupid, ridiculous that I said, okay, you, I'm calling the cops. And then they're like, I'm calling the cops because people think if they call the cops first on you, that you are going, they're going to be in the right. The cops are going to be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and rub them on the back. Like, it's okay. Yeah, you called the cops first. We're on your side. No, that's not the case. They get the story from both sides and then, you know, take it from there. So I had a old roommate. His girlfriend went crazy like She-Hulk. Seriously, She-Hulk on me. Tried to get me with the fire poker. I'm not going to get too descriptive because I don't want to get demonetized. So... You can, you know what those dark things are. I mean, one swing and GG's, all right? So I finally got it from her. I uh, had a, you know, she flipped the table. And again, I don't want to get too descriptive here because we're living in a nanny state. Coddle, coddle me, watch what you say, or else you get in trouble times. So I got to be careful. But uh, long story short, uh, it just looked like Tasmanian devil has went through my apartment and I called the cops. I was like, this person is trying to literally take my life over here. And uh, I left because I just, cops made me nervous back then. Friend picked me up. They're like, we just want to talk. Like, that's the last thing you want to hear from a cop. I was like, okay, you got my story. Her boyfriend's there. He's going to collaborate the story. And he did. And she got arrested. I was like, hey, man, there's nothing I can do. He's like, I know. She went crazy, dude. I was like, you probably should have let her go, but buddy <laughs> um another time i mean usually the same case where people we get in an argument or whatever and then they get mad at me and you know they can see that i'm kind of like winning this argument or whatever the situation is all right okay well i'll call the cops it's like well you can't kick somebody out first of all in an apartment so i had another roommate it's another time living with somebody else and you know when you're living with somebody you're kind of under their thumb those kind of people that kind of make it you feel like you're staying with them, although you're paying rent, but they make you feel like, oh, you owe me the world or, you know, make you walk on eggshells, kind of like that. So got in an argument and they wanted to call the cops. They got kicked out <laughs> for assault because they assaulted me. I was like, you just attacked me. And now you want, and now you're going to call the cops on me. You're crazy. Like, okay, go ahead. You're going to call your cops on yourself. They got arrested and I was there by myself. I was just chilling like, okay. <laughs> You did it to yourself, man. We could have just been chilling, you know, playing Street Fighter, but you wanted to be a goofy banana dude. But uh, yeah, that's another situation. So as far as I feel like the, the brutality and all that stuff, I don't know if I should get too deep into that because I haven't personally experienced it because you see all this stuff online and it's just compilations of horrible things, but you don't want to, they don't want to bring you things that cops are doing that are good, right? Because the negative attracts, right? It's all about the negative now. Uh, I will say this, and I'm not going to give any description on who these people are and my background and my family. I'll just say I know them. But if you're thinking, well, what about the good cops? They can help. They, you know, they should expose it. They can't. It's a brotherhood, and they will make your life miserable. Cops can make your life miserable. If you do things like that in these shady districts, the, he literally just quit because he said, okay, I can't change it. I see how corrupt it is. I'm done. And I'm not saying that's how all of these precincts are. I'm just saying, you know it's hard to make change happen so again i'm walking on eggshells on trying to describe it but i just wanted to bring you guys a little bit of an interesting story here but uh you know cops are cool you know it, it, it depends on where you live if you live in a big city you're probably going to be dealing with some assholes because you know i'm not trying to defend all of them but you know it's a big city you're constantly dealing with nonsense but there are some crazy ones out there that you need to be careful for and that's why it's always good to know your rights and always make sure you're recording uh there's i think there's even an app where you can like hit it and it starts live streaming and it goes to a cloud so if they like try to get in your phone or something like that 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 footage will forever be there audio and video so you've got evidence in some cloud there so you just need to get a hold of that other than that i mean I don't know. <laughs> just know the law and just go the speed limit. Blend in, baby. That's the best way to be. Just blend in. Do not try to show off and have the flashiest things because you will be singled out. But anyways, hope you did enjoy that random story time. Uh, I don't want to get too more into like the you know 
political side again because you know I, that's pretty much it like come on folk don't be scared say your opinion i mean that's pretty much it i don't have too much of anything on any side if i had some sort of really horrible experience multiple times i'll tell you that's pretty much it so anyways there you go hope you did enjoy that little bit of a ramble story time we haven't done one of those in a while and I gotta be selective on what I talk about. There's so much I wanna tell you all from back in the past when I was juvenile, just running wild in the streets, just acting crazy. But I don't know how much I wanna incriminate myself here. So we'll, we'll, we'll maybe think about that. Okay, <laughs> look up the laws and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, good times as a kid. Uh, as a kid dealing with cops, again, they always treat me nice. You treat them with respect, they treat you with respect. That's just the way I seen it. That's, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of people where you can't, no matter what you say, you just cannot. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have going on here. This Gramble just met with Giratina after Giratina after Giratina. Let's go. All right. So again, if you, what happens if these, <laughs> you see what's happening in some of these places where they've taken away funds for the police. Um, they're gone to crap, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Take that as an example. Complete. I mean, if you had no cops just imagine how crazy it would be uh i mean you, you could have a society uh that can run and help itself but it not in this day and age everybody's too disconnected with social media if we had like a electric blackout some sort of an emp to bring the people together after the chaos then we would start creating communities and then you know probably wouldn't need so much cops then because you all would just uh protect your own and that's the way it would go but the way it is now ain't happening anyways let's leave it at that I'm gonna go for that close combat <laughs> up against the escapulaire what a way to end it and that's the end of the video I actually didn't even know so perfect timing if you did enjoy that little talk there ramble give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and i'll be catching you all next time take care Where you can't, don't. Even if everyone is telling you that something wrong is something right. Even if the whole world is telling you to move. It is your duty to plant yourself like a tree. Look them in the eye and say no. You move.